the only mountain I guess that stands out is Katahdin, really. There's still a lot of trail and, and challenge ahead of us, especially Katahdin. I've never hiked Katahdin. It's always been in my mind that that's something I wanted to do. If I physically get that far, I'll know I've, I've made it. I haven't hiked Katahdin before, so we know it's there and we can prepare for it. It can't be that hard. When you get to Katahdin and you're looking at the mountain and you're going, oh, I want to do it, but I don't, and you do, you know, because it's, it's part of it. I, I started the hike well before then. I've sectioned hiked Maine and, and, and New Hampshire with groups. And they're just a phenomenal group of people, but you're attached to all their hikes. So your hike doesn't, it isn't your hike, it's everybody's hike. I wanted to experience it, how the Native Americans did it. I wanted to learn nature through their eyes. Why, why would I look at it from the perspective I've lived all my life? That, that isn't what life is about. It's about to learn, to change. I've been doing the Dance for All People, which is a Shoshone Indian dance. The dance for all people was to just share with us what it is to experience what they feel towards a connection to earth and all that. One of the things they learn is, is through animals. In the east is the eagle. As I was getting divorced and all this, I was connecting to that and saying, okay, teach me about freedom. As I did that, I noticed almost every day I would see an eagle. So I was always reminded, oh, here's that lesson. And then as it went along, I, I eventually got a flute and I got more connected with the areas and so the activations or the honoring of sites became more of a, a ceremony for now, for connecting here now. I, I didn't attach to it as far as what I thought the meaning might be. I was open to whatever happened. And, and you know, that's freedom, to experience stuff without attachments, to say this is what it is. See what I'm saying? <laughs>